we'll take a look at the reworked video finder for Alpha Anywhere version 3. So there are a large number of videos that have been recorded to explain different features in Alpha Anywhere and uh, finding the appropriate video can be difficult because there are so many to choose from. So the product has always had a video finder but now the video finder has been improved dramatically so you can see now you can open up the video finder from the help menu and the video finder now opens up instantaneously and displays all of the videos categorized into different categories here you can see so as you move through the videos you can see them quickly and then you can do searches that are very very quick so let's go and search for say Google and there we found 19 results and then these are the results categorized here by uh, the uh, different category uh, in which the result was found. Now in this particular case the video finder is being displayed as a modeless dialog box which means that if I have a computer with two monitors I can drag this dialog off the screen and put it on a second screen so that the dialog will be left open all the time while I'm working in Alpha. But if I prefer a more traditional style I can go here to preferences and go here and choose an MDI window and now the video player opens up as a traditional MDI window and uh, it'll show up in the uh, window list and also in the uh, tab, the window tab bar at the bottom of the screen so I can switch from one window back to another window. So the uh, video finder now makes it uh, very easy to display and search for videos. Uh, you can easily click the refresh button to go and see if there's any new content um, on the server that has been published and uh, this will bring down uh, the new videos. But one of the things that's interesting about the video player is that the video finder itself has been written as a UX component. So you'll see if I close down the uh, video finder and go here to my web project and open up the video finder here, what I see is that we have a panel layout with uh, two list controls. One uh, list that is displaying all of the categories and then another list that is displaying all of the topics and the actual data that is being displayed here is just coming from a JavaScript file that has been uh, linked in. So you can see here we have a linked JavaScript file called video library json.js and if we look inside that file we'll see it's just um, a JSON object with two arrays, one called topics which has all of the actual individual videos listed out so you can see there's the description, the short description, the long description and then another array called categories where we define the actual um, categories. So we have uh, two list controls as, as I mentioned and then uh, every time you click on a different category we have JavaScript over here that is going to basically go ahead and uh, uh, populate the uh, appropriate list. And then what we've done is we've used the ability to take a UX component and export it to a static HTML uh, which gives us a pure HTML of this component which is then wrapped in an X dialog that has the Chrome control in it. So this makes the video finder extremely fast because it's just a pure HTML application that is hosted in an X dialog that has the uh, Chrome control in it. So I hope you enjoyed the new video finder and thanks very much for watching.